Hello, my name is Michael Lee from Cash Money Enterprises, and my email is leemichael at utexas.edu. So for this project, we had to 3D print two pieces that fit together. Um, one of them had to have three prongs um, that fit into the other one, and there I am um, in the Makerspace studio with 3D printers. And so I drew a flow chart for this project, um, and uh, listing the steps that I did to complete it. So the first thing I did was download and install the appropriate software. Um, this took me about an hour. I used Tinkercad, the free browser one, to make the designs. And then I downloaded, installed, and made an account for Craftware to convert the SDL files to G-code files so I could actually print the design. Um, then I spent about 30 minutes making all the designs total because Tinkercad is pretty user-friendly. Um, and I made three designs total. Then the first question you have to ask yourself is, is your design two pieces? Um, and if it's not, obviously you have to go back and start over because that's kind of the um, major point of this project. But if it is two pieces, you have to ask yourself, do these two pieces fit the, the uh, parameters, the constraints, um, which is two inches by two inches by uh, 0.375 inches. And if it does, you can print the design. And if not, you go back to the drawing board. Printing the design took me about two hours in total. First two designs took about 40 minutes and the last one took about 40 minutes. So an hour and a half to 30 minutes, I mean, um, an hour and a half to two hours. Um, and then you have to ask yourself, do these pieces fit? And if they don't, if you don't like your print, then go back to the beginning. Maybe try printing it again with the same design idea or just try holding a new one altogether. But if you do like the way your pieces fit, then create a report and company name. Um, I've spent about an hour so far um, gathering the materials for this report and um, rehearsing. And then turn in your report and the prototype and then end. So um, my first design, here it is, um, was some dollar bills because I'm the treasurer of an organization. And so um, here actually is my first design here. Um, it turned out all right, but I made the holes the same size as the peg so it doesn't fit on um, properly. And because of the dollar, I didn't under realize this at first, but because of these little uh, lumps in the dollar bill sign, um, some of them actually ended up coming out because um, they hold on by like a thread. So I didn't like the way that turned out. So I tried something simpler for my second design, which was this, which is just a circle with circular pegs and the holes were a little bit larger than the pegs. But unfortunately, um, this design for some reason clogged the machine a couple times. I tried two different machines and both times they got clogged. And I think it's because of the circular motion the machine had to make to try to print out this design. So then I did a third one, which wasn't circular, it was more square, um, and it was like a robot face because I was just around um, all the software and the 3D printing and stuff just seemed very technical. So um, kind of inspired me to just make a robot face. And I made the holes slightly larger than the pegs. And this one turned out great. I've already turned this in, um, otherwise I would show you. But um, the first time I clipped it on, it's, um, like I said, it clipped. Um, it just clicked into place, which I thought was great. And then it was kind of hard to take off, but then once I got it off, um, now they just um, fit together very nicely. And it's pretty easy to get on and off, but they're not loose. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with the way it turned out. Um, let me check the rubric real fast to see what I'm missing. So I assessed, uh, I did my discussion on the um, designs. I assessed my pieces. Um, so conclusions, those two main challenges. I was not a fan of how the Makerspace Studio um, operated because my first main challenge was getting a flash drive. You can't bring your own flash drive, you have to rent out one of theirs. And so the Makerspace Studio is pretty busy, so I had to be put on wait lists, um, which was how I addressed that challenge. The second challenge was the time constraints. They're only open 12 to five, um, Monday through Friday. And that's when I have a lot of my classes. So how I addressed that issue was just going in between classes. But it was, it was hard because also the prints took some time. So it was um, hard to get in there, get a flash drive, get the print done before my next class started or before they closed. Um, but I worked around those constraints and I ended up um, pretty happy with how um, it all worked out. And this actually relates to systems thinking because you have to consider all of about how these things actually relate to your final product. I, I wouldn't think that the hours of operation of this building would affect what I'm able to do with my work. I, my work relies on 
um, other people and um, the machine's ability to input my design, which is why um, some of them didn't turn out that, um, that great. So it really goes to show you the interdependencies of the system. Um, and I, in this project, I learned how to 3D print, which I thought was really cool. I didn't know how to do it before, and it's really fun, actually. Um, and I liked it a lot. I just disliked working around the Makerspace Studio policies. Thank you.